Good morning, Growth Family. Today's Wednesday, June 17th, and we're going to be looking at Psalm 107. And so if you have your Bible, you can open it and read along with me. Or if you don't have your Bible, that's okay. You can just listen along as I read. Um, I'm going to read the first six verses, and then we're going to just kind of talk a little bit about the rest of the psalm. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. Those He redeemed from the hand of the foe, those He gathered from the lands from east and west and north and south, some wandered in desert wastelands, finding no city, no way to a city where they could settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed. And then in verse 6, it says, Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He delivered them from all their distress. And then jumping down to verse 8, it says, Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for mankind. So that's just the first eight verses of 43 verses. But what happens in this psalm as it goes on is the same situation happens over and over again. And there's a pattern of the people being in distress and in trouble. And then they cry out to the Lord. And then the Lord hears them and rescues them and they give thanks. And so we see that actually four different times in this psalm where it will say that they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and that he delivered them from their distress. And then they give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love. If you have time today or sometime this week, I would encourage you to read this psalm and go through and mark all of the things that God does for his people when he delivers them. I did that in my Bible. I highlighted it in pink. And all of those things are things that the Lord has done for those who cry out to him. And so today, Grove family, I want to encourage you to cry out to the Lord in your trouble, whatever that trouble may be, because he will save you from whatever distress you're facing. And then you can tell of his great works and the wonderful things that he's done for you.